Hey guys, it's Poppy Rain here, and today we're going to be doing a video with my t-shirts. Um, all my ones that are clean anyways, which will be most of them. Um, actually, I do have a couple over here that are clean that I will show you. Um, I'm not going to show you the one I'm wearing today because it has my actual name on it. For those of you who don't know what my actual name is, um, just for privacy reasons, I don't share my actual name. You go by Poppy Rain on YouTube. Um, it's, but it's one of those shirts like you see on Facebook all the time. It says your name and like something about you. My girlfriend actually got it for me. So, first, I might actually need to set up my camera for this, but the first shirt we have is this bear shirt. It's like a goth, so this is my t-shirt, as I said. Um, this is like a gothic type shirt. They look like voodoo dolls, kind of. They're kind of stitchy. Um, the brand on this is... Am I don't even I can't even read something ink. Um, ink canoe ink or whatever if you guys can read that. Um, I actually got this at a thrift store. Um, I don't oh says it right there. Acmu ink says it right there in the coffin. I don't know. I've never heard of this brand before, but I thought it was super cute. Um, I don't wear a lot of shirts like this. But I have this one. Um, hold on, guys. I'm going to see. Hold on for a second, guys. I'm going to see if I can prop you guys. Oh. On something. No, it's not gonna work. So I have that one. I might just show you guys on the bed what these shirts look like. So if you guys watched my makeup video, you will have seen. Sorry, guys. This next shirt. This next shirt is a color black shirt. It's pink in the middle. It's got yellow pocket. It's got a mint blue green color sleeve. It's got this pretty purple sleeve. Um, there's no information on the tag or anything, so I don't know what... size it is or anything um guys this is gonna be really hard so i'm going to try to reverse this that shirt i just showed you was thrifted um both of those two shirts were thrifted and they're both adult size adult slash teen sizes this next one i'm going to show you i have to turn right side out because i wore this yesterday the day before this one is it says herbivore, carnivore, omnivore, omnivore. It's um, sparkly. It's got all the different dinosaurs on it. The brand on this is Wonder Nation. This is a kid's. This is um, an XL. This is from Walmart. It's kid size. Um, I. I wear really weird sizes, guys. I can fit in kids large, extra large, depending. So, like, 14, 16 in kids, as far as tops go. Then in teens, I wear anything from a small to a large, depending on the brand and the style. And then with adults, I typically wear extra small. Or I can wear some petite mediums. My mom's a petite medium. We have this shirt... 
This is a, it doesn't say the brand, but it's a kid shirt. It's pink. It's spark, it has, I don't know if you guys can see that very well, but it's sparkly. And it's got a bat kitty inside a jack-o'-lantern. I got this off of Poshmark, actually. I don't know what store it's actually from because there's no brand on it. That's a kid size shirt. This next one is a kid size shirt. This is another Wonder Nation from Walmart. It says, all I want is Wi-Fi and fries. I thought that was hilarious. Wi-Fi and fries. Just basic great shirt with Wi-Fi and fries on it. Cause it's kind of like the saying, fries before guys. We have this shirt. Doesn't tell me the brand, but this is a kid's shirt. This one I got off Poshmark. It says, happier than a unicorn eating cupcakes and rainbows. It's kind of faded a little bit, but it's sparkly. It's got some sparkles on it. It's got the cute unicorn. We like the rainbow letters. Super cute. Um, in the basket, I have a shirt from, I believe, Target that has Hatchimals on it. I do not collect Hatchimals. I do not like Hatchimals, really. I had a Hatchimal, but I got rid of it. Um, this shirt is from, I'll show you the tag, from Bridget & Co. This, so I'm guessing this is a boutique. This is a kid size shirt. It's uh, one of the one arm shirts. It's got Disney princesses. They're all dressed for Christmas. It's got, let's see, who are the princesses on here? Ariel, Belle, Jasmine, Elsa. I think that's supposed to be Lilo. But she's not a princess. That might be Alina of Avalor. I don't watch it show, so I don't really know. But because of the crown, it kind of looks like... Unless that's supposed to be Moana. But none of those are... Those two aren't princesses. I'm guessing that's Aurora. A.K.A. Sleeping Beauty. Snow White. And Merida. And then it's got the princess... Oh. Yeah, you can see from the bottom. Hold on. Let me see if I can find that one princess on the bottom that I can't figure out who she is. No, I don't see her. Yeah, on the bottom of the skirt. I think that's supposed to be Moana. From the look at the bottom of the skirt. It's got like that pattern. And then it's got the same pattern on the back of it. It's kind of like, it's almost like a dress. I don't know if it's technically supposed to be a dress. But on me, it's a shirt. And it's got like stripes on the back. I kind of want to look up this brand. Like I said, I think it's boutique because it looks like handmade. And very unique and different from anything else that I've ever seen. That's a kid size. We have this adult shirt I got a couple summers ago. From Walmart. This is the brand No Boundaries. It's... I call it a tank top even though it's technically... Or it's technically like a tank top. But I call it more of like a halter top. It's lacy, but it has, like, a lining inside, so it's not see-through. And then it's got, like, the scalloped bottom. So we have that one. This one I got from, I believe, yeah, this is No Boundaries here. This is from, so that's an adult size. This is, well, teen size. This is a teen size. From Tar from Target. Wow, I just said it was no boundaries. It's from Walmart. The top, like in the like in the back, it's got a little button. And the top here is see-through. But it goes like this. So you just see like the top of your bra. Like your straps and whatever. You don't see like your actual bra. And then it's not see-through the rest of the way down. Um it's a little obviously lower in the back. 
So that's super pretty. We have that one. This one I got from a thrift store. This is the brand Hanes. Don't know what this brand is. But it says, want to talk about it? Nah, it's not your problem. Guap word. It's like, so it's got tacos and guacamole or avocados and nacho chips. I thought it was super funny. It's a kid side. It's, it's like the one where it's like higher in the front and lower in the back, but it's not, as you can see from the bottom, it's not that much higher in the front. So it doesn't show anything the way it sits. Especially if you're shorter like me, it doesn't show anything. So we have this shirt is from wish.com. It says Emacs, cutie Emacs. It says sweets for the sweet. It says it has suck on it, weird girl, loser, earth. So here's the back of the shirt. The back of the shirt is like rainbow. Like it's kind of see through. Like as you can kind of see, like it's kind of sheer, but not too bad. This is what the front looks like. It's very kawaii. It's super cute, super kawaii, super fun. Like I said, it, the back, I think, is more see-through. You can kind of see than the front is, just because the back has, like, no graphics on it. But the front does. That's from Wish.com. Um, Just be cautious when you're on Wish.com. Sizes, read people's descriptions. They'll tell you, like, if the sizes fit just right, if they're too big, if they're too small. Um, And be cautious because they're not always in U.S. sizes. A lot of times they're either in, there's some European sizes, but it's mostly Asian sizes. So I bought a sweater one time from there that was in, and I thought it was kid, I thought it was U.S. sizes. It was Asian sizes. So it was way too small on me. The, and then it's like a pain to send back and it's a whole thing. But I mean, I have pretty good success other than that one time with their clothes. This one is from, this is Cat and Jack. Yep, from, Cat and Jack is only sold at Target. But I get a lot of my Cat and Jack online on Poshmark. This is very faded because I've had this forever. It's got like pockets and it's got, well, it's got little pockets. It's got kitties and bumblebees and unicorns on it. And then it's plain on the back. It's just, oh no, maybe it's not plain on the back. Sorry, I thought it was. Um... It looks like it's see-through. It's very lightly see-through, so you can't actually see through it because of all the designs. It's got the cuffed sleeves, which is super cute. Next. I don't actually have a lot of shirts, guys, because I've gotten rid of a lot of my shirts over time. We have this shirt that I love to death. This is from Wish.com. It says, let's get weird. It's cute. Hello, my name is a mermaid. It says lose, loser on it. Um, these are very loose fitting shirts. Again, it's the same style as the other one. Just looks, it's a little wider. The way it's done, it's very kawaii. It's got like the drippy letters. On the back, it says, let's get weird. Um, Like I mentioned, the last one, it is kind of see-through. More so in the back than the front, just because there's more going on in the front. That's from Wish.com. have one. Somewhere. This, I actually got a bunch of free clothes off. Marketplace. This is the brand Twirl. The um those that's a teen size. The ones from Wish.com are like teen slash adult. This is kids. It's sparkly. It says Daddy's my superhero. It's pink. Or purple, sorry. 
Um, this one, I mean, it's a little see-through in the back. Not so much in the front that it's noticeable. But, um, I like that because, as you guys know, I'm a little. And I currently have a daddy. No mommy no more. But I currently have a daddy. This one I thrifted. Er, uh, no. This one, sorry, this one came from the same one as that last shirt. This is a No Boundaries shirt, so that's a Walmart brand. Just, so it's like a teen size. It's, again, lightweight. Not too see-through. That's a problem. If you're wearing, like, a dark color, yeah, like, it shouldn't be a problem. Like, I didn't notice anything, but it's just plain gray. With, like, a little bit of a scoop neck on it. Um, those are really good for... Like I work at a daycare. So those are really good for that. That was not the shirt I thought it was. My bad. This one. I'll read this to you. This is a Disney shirt. It says, You are braver than you than you believe. Stronger than you... Hold on. Sorry. My name's really bad. Stronger than you feel. And smarter than you know. Oh, smarter than you think. Um, It's one of my favorite Winnie the Pooh quotes. It's Winnie the Pooh. I thrifted this one. It's got Pooh and Piglet on it. Or does it just have Pooh? No, it just says Pooh on it. Never mind. Um, I typically don't wear shirts with like a lot of writing on them anymore. I used to. But there's that one. This one came from, I believe this is Cat and Jack. Yeah. From Target. It's just pink and has, hot pink and has a balloon animal unicorn on it and it's got some sparkles up in the mane and the horn this is a kid size that last one I showed you was a teen slash adult size this one I believe I thrifted as well this is the brand perfect active tee this is a kid size as well it says dance to your own beat I used to wear this when I go to Zumba because my favorite Zumba pants are pink and black and I love to dance I'm a dancer I've been dancing since I was 12 I danced from 12 to 18 then when I graduated I took two semesters in college then I took then I danced for a little while with my friend that you've seen on the channel before Kelsey her and her sister have a friend who was a dance teacher they used to live around here then moved to Buffalo because her fiancé got a job in Buffalo. So I danced with them for a little bit. And they kind of canceled on me. Quit on me. So I stopped dancing. And then I was doing a solo with her. And then she kind of closed the studio. Then reopened. Didn't tell me she reopened. And then I did Zumba for a while. And then after I lost my job. And didn't have a car for a while. I just haven't been able to go. This is one of my all-time favorite shirts. Again from Wish. This is a little bit thicker than the other ones. It's still see-through. It says, don't touch, OMG, Emacs. I don't know what that is. What does it say on the bottom? Clothes are sassy, XOXO, says Larry. I'm very into alien, well, like, oddities. So these are a Cyclops, which you might have seen my box opening. My channel for my Cyclops, baby. And this one has three eyes. I absolutely love this shirt. Everyone gives me crap about it. I think it's the cutest thing ever. I want to get the whole collection of these shirts from Wish at some point. We have another one from Wish that I wore to the daycare one time. It's work. And it says whatever bitch on it, which I didn't know. It says hello, honey. It's got like this drippy bear on it. Super cute. The back, back is just plain like the other one. These are both adult sizes. Adult, like, it's got unicorns on it and the drippy bear. Both of those um, are adult slash teen sizes. This one is from Walmart. Um, I got this a couple weeks ago. It's Care Bear brand, I guess. It's see-through, but not, like, to the point where it, I mean, 
have to be careful what you wear under it, but it's not really much of a problem. It has candy hearts on it and care bears. It's super fun, super quiet. And like it's got that kind of rounded bottom again where it's longer in the front or longer in the back than in the front. But again, not a problem, especially if you're short. That's a teen size. We have this ugly doll shirt. It's an ugly doll brand. I it came and it's a shirt skirt set from the kids section of Walmart. It's got my favorite ugly doll right here. Um, Foxy or Roxy, I can't remember what her name is. And then it's got the kitty. I like the kitty. The kitty puppy looking thing. And it's got this little green guy. It's just white. It's got the ruffly edges. Um, again, a little bit see-through, but not, like, noticeable. The back's just plain. That's a kid size. Like I said, it came with a skirt that I currently don't have here. Whoops. We have that that needs to be hung up. That'll go on the hanger. This is for a different video. I didn't realize that was in there. I'm going to do my videos on long sleeve shirts. Oh. This is one of my all-time favorite shirts. This is, I think, Cat Jack brand, too. Now, this is Wonder Nation, again, from Walmart. Again, it's a little bit see-through, but not too bad. It's kind of ombre. It says, Cactus. We have this one a lot. It's got cactus on it. This is kid size as well. It's like ombre on the bottom. Super cute. Just basic t-shirt. We have, oh, another one of my favorites. This one is definitely Cat and Jack brand. This one I got from Target. It's like a teal color. And it's got a stack of blueberry waffles. Or, pff, I don't know my food. Pancakes, not waffles. And that's super cute. We have this shirt that I bought for Pride. It's, I think technically it's supposed to be a crop top. It's a little short on me. It's from Forever 21. But I should wear something a little high-waisted with it. Or I just don't care. Current moment. If my belly button was still pierced, I wouldn't care. But, fun fact, I can't have piercings. I had my ears pierced twice when I was 5 and when I was in 11th grade. Or, no, when I was 14. I was 5 and 14. They both got infected both times. I was wearing 14 karat gold earrings. Had my belly button done twice. Had my belly button done, I think I was 19 the first time. Then I think I was like 20 when I had it redone. First time the hole got infected and ripped because it wasn't in deep enough. Second time it turned black. So I got forced to take it out, which I didn't want to. But I have this one. Again, a little bit see-through, but again, not too, not noticeable because it's a little bit thicker and it's got all the designs on it it's my gay pride shirt that's from forever 21 and i'm also had a forever 21 this shirt came with the free stuff that i got from wish or from wish from marketplace on facebook this says sorry not sorry let me tell you the brand on this the brand is children's plate it says place which is children's place um i have yet to shop there I was going to at one point, but then the card didn't work and stuff. So that's super cute. We have that one. Oh, we have another long sleeve shirt that shouldn't be in there. And that's all my tank tops. Next video we will do is... Next up you will probably see... Leggings and stockings. That'll be next. So yeah. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye guys.